Good morning. Uh, so continuing with um, Snippet Pixie today. Um, yesterday we got a very basic um, listing of snippets on the command line working. Um, but it really was basic. Um, and we've left ourselves a to-do, or I've left myself a to-do, to implement proper output formatting. Um, so at the moment, uh, let's get the daemon up. Okay, um, we've got that format, which isn't great. Um, don't really want abbreviation and body stuck in the output and stuff, but it's just so that I can see what's going on. Um, but I don't know what format to use. I mean, at the moment, this is really just for helping me to debug and stuff, really, so I can see what's what snippets I've got. Um, I definitely want to display the abbreviation and body. I guess the last date used would be handy. Um, and Probably the UUID. Um, I just need to double check what that text message was. Um, let's see if I can do that. Uh, so I mean, I could do all kinds of things here. I could have a table of outputs. I could do JSON as an output. Um, that might be useful. One thing I do need to be careful of is the body could be like super long. It could also be multi-line. Um, what do I want to display there? I guess at the moment I kind of want just this kind of thing. So if I do that, it's kind of the equivalent of that. Although on the command line, I would like a little bit more info. Hmm. I also have to be careful of like an abbreviation could have spaces in it. So you might have an, uh, an abbreviation that just ends with a space. So you want to be able to see that. That might be your trigger key, the space, so that it auto uh, expands to something and you just carry on typing. Okay, maybe, maybe just to get something done now, maybe I should just do the fields, all the fields. So UUID, abbreviation, and body, and last day used uh, in pipe separated format at least then it's visible because if you do space that's no good if abbreviation or body has spaces in it same for tabs it's not easy to see and at least a pipe symbol is relatively easier i mean you might use the pipe I don't. <laughs> you might use in a but you might use a pipe in your in either abbreviation or body. But in the future, we'll have things like what delimiter do you want to use and what width of body because we'll probably want to truncate it. 
um, and or show multi-line. I think I'll have to do like just show the first line at some point. Yeah, okay. I just need something slightly better than that and then I can work on that later when we actually get to the point of really needing it. So let's just do some basics here. Okay, well, so I can't do it here. I need to have a function. Um, maybe... Maybe in snippet. So if so that does space separated. Okay, I think phase one, phase one, I'm just going to make a string function for snippets. Yeah, let's do that. So that takes this pointer to a snippet. It's going to be called string. It doesn't have any arguments because I'm doing like a stringer type thing. I think that's a standard interface. I think that is a standard interface, isn't it? Oh yeah, on format. String as a Windows value has a string method which defines the native format for the value. The string method is used to print values passed as an append. So string or to any unformatted print or such. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's just doing S printf. In that case, in that example. Hmm. Okay. So let's go return a string. And now We'll do well, let's do basic return. What's the uh, it's format? Yeah, format dot. S print Do I need F? Well, I guess it's simple, then, isn't it? Uh, 
thing is, I could could run through the fields. Okay, let's just do something. Let's just get something a little bit better than what we've got. So we're going to have... Um, what do they use here? Value. This will be interesting, actually. So percent V pipe percent V percent V <laughs> and then how do you do a date format is that again just percent V and it works it out and should I put a finishing I don't know. Okay, well, let's just do this. So we'll do s dot id This could be a mess actually. <laughs> this isn't great, but we'll give it a go. We'll see what we get. It's probably enough for today because I just need to do something better than what we've got. Um, don't know how that's going to work. Is that going to even work? Right, well, I've got no um, truncating or anything there on the body, so that could be really messy, but maybe that's okay. I guess we'll see. Um, let's then go back here, and here we're just going to do... that so let's see what happens now uh, make, make test and then That's not so bad. Hmm. What we don't have is real data though, so. But it does mean you can do something like that. Pipe through cut minus D pipe uh, minus F two. Oh, do what? Oh, <laughs> quote. So now I've got the abbreviations. What if I just want the bodies? Or if I'm trying to just grab the UIDs for some sort of operation. Could even do something like so for that I could do this is gonna be silly. I'll 
read. There we are. Let's just do a quick thing here, like echo. There we are. Oh, didn't do a do. Let's do it again. While read APR do record APR done. Okay. So what we could do instead is Now I just list there shouldn't be any left. There's no more, oh no. Just got rid of them all. So that's cool. But anyway, um so I could Uh, do that. That's quite good. Oops. Did the wrong thing there. When I do that, I have to do shift enter. Now we've got the list again. So it's quite useful then already, but we'll definitely need to have some finesse sprinkled on it. But it's better than what we've got. But I've only got a short time today. Um, I need to get on with some stuff. So that's an improvement. Let's just keep that for the moment. Um, I'm going to keep that to do because in fact I'm going to add some more to it delimiter selection required to do Body show first line body. These are just things just to remind me of that to do. Though I could probably just put them in a tracker. <laughs> Might do that in a bit. Um, show truncated body. Select fields to show. Okay. Right, 
so I think we're good there for just a quick little thing going on there. Actual test pass. And I'm just going to commit that and then I'm done for the day. I'll just do a quickie. Um, at least we've got a stringer going though. That's quite good. It needs a lot of work. Not sure how you would really use that. I might need to change that format completely. Maybe to something where it just shows here's the things in a nice format. Um, maybe really it should be a JSON output. That would be quite interesting. If it came out as JSON, it would be really nice for then using on the export. Hmm. Have to think about that. Right, so uh, I'll just commit that as a minor change. I think that's enough for today. It's good to have um, it's good to have that UUID for sure. I mean, mainly just for my debugging as I improve things. Um, being able to quickly grab that and check things and so on. So yeah, but I need to get on with my day. Um, so, um, thanks for watching, um, uh, until next time, uh, you take care. Bye-bye.